hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As I can see behind me, I am at QVC today. Uh, it is Homeworks TSV day, launch day. So uh, they actually have a store here where you can actually purchase most of the TSV items on the day that they are released. So uh, not a far drive from me. So I decided to come on down here and uh, see what it's all about. And uh, I'll be able to smell all the sets. I'll probably buy a couple. Um, but uh, when I get back and <laughs> bust behind me, uh, <laughs> you will see um, what I got. Talk about my little, little experience here. I'm not going to be doing too much. The tours are all sold out today, unfortunately. Um, but uh, other than that, you can see QVC's behind me. And, uh, well, we'll see what's going on. So uh, I'll talk to you on the other side when I, uh, when I get back and I have the, the product in front of me. So uh, have a good one. All right, guys. Just got back from QVC. As you just saw my little intro there. Um, completely off the cuff intro. So what I decided to do was I did pick up two sets of um, TSV items today and I realized I didn't go over the two HSN TS items that I got which was the floral set um, and I got another homework site on here I'm going to share with you there but um, first things first I paid for this with all my own money here are my QVC receipts uh, from this morning and uh yeah, we'll get into it there. So, uh, yes, if you saw my Instagram, I did meet up with Harry um, for a little while in between um, in between uh, his shows. He came up and chatted a little bit there. So, uh, basically, I don't live far from QVC, um, an hour drive or so. And in their store, uh, and I just found this out a few weeks ago, so um, I was blinded, um, you know, all of the previous TSVs. In the store, they have the TSV items most of the time, 95% of the time. If there's a TSV item that's on air, they're going to have it in store. Um, I know they did have the, I found this out recently as well, they had the fruit baskets uh, last year that you could buy. And I think they had the winter TSV as well. Um, I don't think they had the ones over the summer, but we'll see. So... Any TSV going forward, I am certainly going to try to have them the day of release. Um, even though I could have pre-ordered these and probably had them today at the same time, I wanted to actually smell everything in person because there was a set here that um, I don't think I would have purchased if I didn't smell it, but I kind of wanted to. So it was, eh. The only downfall was, maybe it's not a downfall, but I got to order another set of one of these because... I was not able to do the auto delivery um, in store. So um, real quick, we'll go over the, the HSN stuff um, that I picked up here. Um, white tea leaf. I did not burn these yet. It's just been a crazy week. As this is my, my first video back in like a while. Uh, very nice tea scent. There's a green tea. Um, there's a greenery scent going on here. The notes are white tea leaf, bergamot, verbena and carnation blossom. Um, I do like this one there. It's got a nice green tea-esque thing there. And the label are all around there. So there were three sets of two. Um, there was a floral orgamond and a um, fruity, just like there was today with the QVC TSV. Um, I think, honestly guys, the QVC TSV completely a better value um, from start to finish. I think the offerings were better. Um, obviously you get the, the hobnail glass and it came with free shipping. Um, I think I ended up paying for this set of two here after shipping $43, $44. Um, and then they went free shipping a couple days later, but they raised the price, but it still ended up to be, still ended up being $2 cheaper on free shipping day, uh, even with the product price raised up. So um, I reached out to HSN and I said, you know, I gave them the story there and they gave me $5 in credit. So we'll see uh, what's going on, what I can use that for. It expires in July. So we'll see what, what's going on over there. But uh, very green scent, very tea scent, very uplifting herbal. Yes, herbal. So, let me get that over there. And here we have the pear blossom. Um, I didn't know what to think of this one, but it's fruity. It's, um, as I was talking to Kevin, um, sweet pea, right? Bath and Body Works sweet pea comes to mind with this. And sweet pea, um, Slacken & Co. made a sweet pea candle that went along with the signature body care item. 
many years ago. I love that scent and candle form. Sweet pea mixed with Bartlett pear, which is an amazing spring combo to me. Very fruity, very florally. Um, it was just perfect. Uh, God, that was back in like 2005 or so when I was in high school um, that I was getting those candles and they had them in little tea lights and everything. It was awesome. Um, pear blossom, yeah, you do get a little bit of that pear in there, but very florally, very fruity as well. Um, the water lily, so it's got pear, camellia blossom, water lily, and peach. I do get a little bit of that peach note in here. I certainly do. But, interesting to see how these burns. Um, conflicting reports on how these burn. Um, it seems like in each set, one burn kind of good, one burn kind of bad. But, um, that apparently is improved with these uh, new TSVs and going forward. So, that was that set. I bought that. They came out. And then I picked up, um, I have the INA since last year, I, mean, I like them. Um, the scent plugs with the iced tea. So I love anything like American Flag, Americana, Patriot, very patriotic there. So um, having those for the summertime is pretty cool. And I picked this up as is, with like 12 bucks for free shipping. Um, and it came with four of the Celebrations refill. And these, uh, these got like no airtime last year. It's, it's a shame. These, I think, only got presented once, and it was at, like, a midnight showing. It wasn't even by Harry. It was by, um, Sean, I think it was. And, um, it was just one showing, I think. <clears throat> but it's sweet tea. It's a very sugary lemon sweet tea. Um, I don't have this in the basement, like, when we uh, have uh, parties and whatnot in the summertime. Because we have a walkout basement, so interesting to see. So that's that. Oh, let's get into the TSV part. So, like I said, I got the Gourmand set. I got the floral set. But I smelled them all, so let's get into it. Pomegranate lychee. Um, not for me. Not at all. Uh, pomegranate was kind of tart. The lychee was sweet. So it was, to me, more tolerable than that lychee candle that Bath & Body Works came out with last year. Um, that's my only reference to another lychee candle, but if you like pomegranate, uh, you will you will like that because um, lychee sweet. And if you already like the pomegranate, uh, a tartar scent, uh, you will enjoy that. Now that came with sweet spring melon. I happen to have a sweet spring melon from last year, so I can talk about that a little bit. If you've never smelled that, um, it's the exact same candle. It's Ripe honeydew melon, watermelon, freesia, cucumber, wild strawberry, and water lily. Uh, so this is a three wick. I think the color of the wax was the same. Uh, this is so nice. This is um fresh, I don't want to say juicy, but um, cooling melon, like like the uh, like a cantaloupe, like um you just, you just freshly cut a cantaloupe, you know. I'm smelling that. <clears throat> very, very nice. I got this as, a, as is. I have two of these now. Um, so it, I didn't really need a third because uh, it's not right in my wheelhouse. It's right on the uh, outer edge of my comfort zone. Um, but the more and more I smell it, the more and more I'm liking it. Um, if that, if Sweet Spring Melon had been paired with like a different candle than the pomegranate light sheet, I might have gotten that set also. So, yeah, it's not really um, fake. It's not like candy. It's not, um, it's just fresh and juicy and ripe. Ripe cantaloupe, ripe, ripe melon. I don't really get the watermelon per se. I more get like the cantaloupe and the honeydew. And that being said, um, there's a honeydew cooler, which was part, which is over at HSN. And I, I hear I was getting rave, rave reviews. Um... The coconut sorbet it came with, not coconut sorbet it came with, came with um, watermelon lemonade. Um, I'm all watermelon lemonade out. Um, never was my kind of scent to begin with. So that's those two. Now we have the hobnails. Real quick on the packaging. Perfect packaging. Love the improved packaging here. Um, so each one sits in here. And then this lid goes on top. And then you have these little spots here 
is where the glass lid goes. So glass on glass and shipping um, doesn't break. So as you can see, this goes right here. And then they go right there. They uh, they come wrapped in uh, like a cellophane type deal. So let's go with let's go with the returning favorite from last year. Enchanted Peony. Uh, very bright pink. Pink wax on the inside. Um, now, I was not a huge fan of this scent last year. Um, matter of fact, my three wick is on its way to a trade. Um, I I don't know if my nose has changed a little bit or if this is a different formulation, but to me, the blackberry doesn't seem as heavy. So, I, I I don't know. The blackberry doesn't seem as heavy, heavy as uh, before. Which is fine. I'll, I'm going to burn. I, I really, I, I like it better this year than last year. I don't know why. Same candle. I mean, they smell the same almost. Um, but anyhow, Velvet Peony, Pink Camellia, Leafy Greens, Golden Amber, and Fresh Blackberry. Uh, to me, like, the, like I said, the blackberry was just so high up last year. Now, I haven't burned this one yet. Obviously, I, I did burn the, the one from last year. So that might flip-flop and change when burning. Either way, um... I like its partner, but so I get the I get the peony in here. I get the leafy greens, the dewy greens. Uh, that blackberry is in there, and it gives it a little tartness, a little tartness to the flower. Um, cuts it because peony peony can be super heavy, heady, super florally, um, and. Harry doesn't like a super heady floral because um, they, they can give headaches. They're not very uh, guest friendly. Now, if you're living by yourself or in your man cave or your, uh, as Melanie likes to say, her fancy lady cave, fancy lady den, her fancy lady room, whatever it is, um, Mr. Cog's mom, Melanie. If you're burning it there and you like a floral, you'll be fine. But this one is uh, guest friendly, certainly. Certainly gives a nice little fanciness. Um, nighttime scent. Uh, during the day scent, could be. But if you have your windows open, uh, like I do now, have the windows open and everything, I would go with its partner, and that is South Seas uh, Gardenia right here. So this is just like windows open. I'm gonna have half of a wick there. <clears throat> you know, um, nice little green wax there, green hobnail. If you got it's during the day and your windows are open, you got the air coming in there, South Seas Gardenia is what I would I would go with. Um, Gardenia, <clears throat> Gardenia, Botanical Orchid, Garden Lily, Bergamot, Spring Moss, guys, this candle is all me, screams me. So, Rainforest Gardenia from Bath and Body Works. It's a little bit whiter floral note than this. Uh, this is certainly toned down. It's a lot more greener. And as um, Harry said, it's, it's velvety, certainly. Certainly has that velvety uh, feel to it. But the gardenia is very... I don't know. I feel like there's some salt air in there. Like I'm kind of getting the vibe that there is a... Um, like, like I'm actually on the South Sea, South Seas, or, or along an ocean, and there is a field of gardenias growing, and that's what I'm getting. I'm kind of getting that, that salty air note. Really, really digging this. Um, you know, they're working on the labels there. It's a little crooked, but you know, whatever. Um, now, the next set here, <laughs> um, or the last set, I should say. Um, shocked that I liked it. Shocked that I liked it and I bought it. Um, they came to forty-one dollars each. Um, I uh, exactly. They were thirty, thirty-eight, sixty-eight, and then we have six percent sales tax here in PA, so two dollars and thirty-two cents. So it came to forty-one dollars, even forty-one dollars even. Yes, and they do have the same return policy in store, so thirty-day money-back guarantee. Uh, merchant, merchandise credit, merchants, yeah, merchandise purchase at the QVC Studio Store. Must be returned to the QVC Studio Store. Um, 
return should be insured and shipped to, so I could actually ship it back if I wanted to pay for it myself or take the hour drive down. Um, one more thing about the QVC store is really cool. They have a lot of things that are on air. So uh, like I said, it's an hour drive, but it's near a couple other places that I like to frequent. So I might um, go there a little more often because they do have homeworks candles. Um, purchase, I can buy them single, 20 bucks um, per a single candle. I think it's just a crapshoot of what they have, if they have, because they look like they were just um, unburned, <clears throat> unburned on air products. So, like root beer float, coconut cake, and berry trifle, could have got 20 bucks each. So, good to know for next time. Lemon Jello Cupcake. This is the Grimond scent, everyone. So, this is a returning favorite from last year. Yellow Wax. Now, last year, this was uh, paired with orange sorbet. Um, I stocked up on the other set of last year. So these were in a special edition glass last year. Um, lemon gel cupcake, orange sorbet. But I stocked up on the um, la uh, vanilla lavender and the Lewis Blossom. <sighs> Two of my favorite scents of all time. So um, anyhow, this, man, this is awesome. So it's like fresh lemon cupcake, butter whipped, uh, Lemon meringue, it, there's so much going on in this. It's lemoncello, Sicilian lemons, candied lemons, sparkling sugar, creamy vanilla, French butter, baked cupcake. Dear God. This rocks. Um, never thought I would say that. This rocks. So, uh, lemon cupcake. Uh, I think like a lemon cupcake with like a lemon filling inside. Man, uh, you guys know you like your lemon, lemon chilo cupcake. Uh, that's a bright candle. It is bright. It's just nice to look at, too. So, you get that cupcakey vibe. Um, this is a lot more sweeter and, and lemony. I love anything lemon, lemon scents. Um, I'm partial to, except for cleaner lemon. But lemon, um,. Yankee Candle had the cookie swap, lemon cookie, um, similar, but this is much, much better, much, much more, much more refined, um, almost smells like that, that Girl Scout cookie, that lemon Girl Scout cookie, um, so I might get another side of this, this might be it, and here we go, vanilla currant biscotti, so, I, um, had no idea what this was going to smell like, which is part of the reason why I wanted to go down there and smell, so you get an almond note from the biscotti, you get the currant, and when I was talking to Harry, I told him uh, the reason why I was um, on the edge about this one was because the currant, the red currant that came with Smoked Pumpkin Woods his first year back in 2017, it was, fall of 2017, that candle, uh, I just did not like that currant at all, it just was, um, I didn't like it one bit. Um, it was a heavy current, uh, strong tart, heavy current. And he explained that this is actually a different current. So there's a fall current and there's a spring current. So this is a lot lighter, not as heavy um, as, a, as the current in that current candle currently. Um, but you get the vanilla note on here. Uh, this is just, this would be an evening candle, right? And then let me show a cupcake would be like a daytime candle. So this is, uh, this would be like a subdued evening night in candle. But you get that biscotti, you know, the long cookies, they're real hard. <clears throat> what is that? <clears throat> let me see. Yeah, almond cream, red currants, brown sugar, baked cookie. <clears throat> I get that um, brown sugar in here. This is this is nice. This might be the duo that I order a second one of. But uh, it's it's not overpowering. Like lemon chili cupcake is super strong on cold. This is not overpowering. So that's why I say it's a nighttime scent. Um, it's there. It's it's not light by no means. So that is. Um, that's that. I like that. So today, 41 bucks shipped. I'm going to get another set because uh, the duo is uh, 
uh, beignets and those blackberry um, tre leches. I think I did not get to smell those, unfortunately. Um, I kind of was hoping they would have them there as well, but they didn't. Um, so uh, the the French beignets is apparently like a uh, fried uh, sugar donut, and uh, the tre leche has coconut in it. But and and the coconut is kind of like the coconut cream candle, the coconut cake candle. Uh, it's not a um, tropical coconut, not a body care coconut. It is a, a foodie coconut there. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Long video, but I had a lot to go over. Um, also, these wicks are certainly improved on these TSVs. All six of them. I looked at them all. Um, they are certainly thicker than the ones that we've seen before. They apparently don't do the, the curling over. So we will see. Uh, I don't know about soot. So we'll check out all that stuff um, with some review. So thanks for watching and I'll see y'all real soon. Have a good one.